what is up people so i was just watching a podcast and i thought this deserve to be in a video uh because i found a fallacy here uh that is often seen in arguments but it's actually not there in my fallacy card so that is a hint see if you can spot exactly what that fallacy is hint is it's not there in my fallacy card i haven't bothered to mark it because uh i don't come across it very often you know generally in the pseudoscience in an indian context but in this video i found it like you know all over the place and the podcast is between arandra who is a, a well known american atheist he was the ex president of the atheist community of austin wait i'm not very sure but either way arandra who is a well known atheist and jessie lee peterson so we're going to watch that podcast see if you can spot it i'll tell you where the fallacy occurs exactly see if you can spot it see if you can say what it is and then i'll tell you what it is people i just asked I about the christian i was clarifying with my answer um you wrote a book called we are all apes that's correct where you prove that we are all apes what is an ape right what is an ape right. an ape is any member of the taxonomic superfamily hominoidea amazing have you ever seen there are fallacies here of course but let's forget all that i want to focus on just one fallacy over here right what is an ape right. an ape is any member of the taxonomic superfamily hominoidea amazing have you ever seen a human being turn into a, uh, you ever seen an ape have you ever seen an ape turn into a human being have i ever seen a dog turn into a dachshund no have you ever seen an ape turn into a human have being have i ever seen a, a a car turn into a corvette are you can you hear me yeah have i ever seen a shark turn into a fish i didn't <laughs> that's a brilliant answer from arandra uh, now the question obviously is a straw man uh, it's a straw man of how evolution works uh, the meaning of the word ape and all that so arandra is trying to assert that ape is a superset and humans are a subset of that ape superset and uh, asking the question that have you seen an ape turn into a human it's like asking have you seen a bird turn into a duck duck is a subset of bird that's a stupid question but but the fallacy i'm trying to point out lies in the question that's a very special type of question and there is a fallacy there see if you can figure it out obviously there's a pre recorded video anyone can type anything in the comments but see if you understand this fallacy see if you can figure it out and i'll tell you in a second so things i ask when have you ever seen an ape turn into a human being i'm trying to illustrate the fallacy of your question how the fallacy you wrote that we all ape you must and, have and we are, you must have at some point all these hundreds of right, thousands of years at some yeah, point is, you would have seen if an ape if an ape turned into a human being have you ever seen <sighs> an ape turn into a human being once again humans are apes in the same way that a duck is a bird so if you ask me if i've ever seen a bird turn into a duck that's kind of a stupid question uh, because i didn't ask that i didn't okay, ask did, that i asked you, you ask? i asked yeah. you ask ask i uh, ask have you ever seen an ape turn into a human being that is a nonsense question why because it's like okay uh let me explain what that's a nonsense question this kind of a fallacy where you ask a question expecting a, a yes or no answer if the person answers with a yes or no usually a yes that immediately accepts the assumptions within the question this is a loaded question that's what the fallacy is a loaded question is when the question itself brings in some assumption so in this case if you ask have you ever seen an ape turn into a human being and arundra says yes that means that's how the assumption the underlying assumption behind the question is that that's how evolution works apes turning into human beings although that is a that question doesn't really make sense the underlying assumption bit, uh, within the question is accepted when someone answers with a yes but that's what arundra is trying to uh, answer with a counter question like asking for a place halfway between los angeles and california no it's not i didn't ask about that I know you don't know what you asked. I do know. The, you wrote this book called We Are All Apes. And, and it so gives the proof I'm in asking, the book. I'm asking, have you personally seen a human being, an ape turn into a human being? It would be impossible for a human being to be anything other than an ape for the same reason that it is impossible for a dachshund to be anything for it but a dog. Have you ever seen a dog turn into a dachshund? Why are you running from that question? I'm not I'm answering no, you're the running. question. I'm illustrating. No, the you're running. Question. You're running from that question. You wrote I'm, this book that we are facing you head on. When two people talk past each other, Obviously Aaron Raz answering the question he's answering it in the best way possible but Jesse Lee Peterson wants a yes or a no and nothing else so anything else that Aaron Raz says goes past Jesse Lee's head 
that's what's happening here the falsy is a loaded weapon i'll show you one more loaded weapon in this very same podcast after uh, we see how this discussion concludes answering your question directly no you're not humans are no. a subset of the category of apes i didn't ask we, you that we start I asked out you how we can't I, so therefore it is nonsense it makes no sense to ask how the parent category turns into the subcategory it is exactly the same as asking if i've ever seen a bird turn into a duck do you understand why the why the why your question have you ever seen a bird turn into a duck how about i ask but you that, that wasn't a question but that but that's the same question isn't you it? wrote the book say we are fallacy. you tried to divert can a duck, can you tried to deviate not, from a, the question can a you duck wrote a book a called we are all apes can and so how did how can you write a book that says we're all ape when uh-huh. you've never like seen a, a, a ape turn into a human being have you ever seen a duck turn into a, have you ever seen a bird turn into a duck why are you dodging person? the question man i'm not dodging the question i'm answering he's answering the question okay and also um the title of the book is we are all apes and not we apes turn into human beings he, he hasn't said that so this question itself is unfounded it's uh, arising out of his own assumptions understandings of what evolution is there's a straw man uh, version of evolution that he has understood and he is trying to argue against the straw man position that's not how evol- evolution works bring it no you're not Can like when I ask you if you love Christian, you 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 went all the right. That I ask you where you going. You tell me where you been. And I and I answered your question directly. No, you didn't. You're not answering. Yes, this I one. did. So one you more time with that, and then we have to move means. on. You have you ever seen an ape? I'm trying to explain it to you. Have you ever seen an ape turn into a human being? Okay, let's look at that. What does the word ape mean? That means that means a a bipedal uh, hominoid uh, with a certain number of hair follicles, with a certain type of teeth, with fingerprints and fingernails. Anyway, I think this discussion will go on for a longer time. I found another loaded question. See if you can spot it this time. Uh, I found another loaded question somewhere here. Um, do you love the Krishnas? Once again, I love people. And if those people are infested with a lie that is uh, counterproductive and destroying them, yes, I will help. I will help them as best I can so that they will be better people and thus not Christian anymore. So I'm black and slow. I want to know do you love the Christians? Once again, Christians are all people. I love people, and so I will help people. And whether they're afflicted with a poisonous religion, whether it be Christianity or Islam or Hinduism or whatever, I will do my best to help them out of that delusion. And how about the Christians? Do you love them? How many times do I have to answer yes in different ways? But yes should I was looking for the yes or not different ways, but just Oh yeah, yes well, I want to make sure that people understand me because if I just say yes and it seems that I would just don't love Christians, but I want people to understand that I love all people and it doesn't matter if they have a, a delusion or not or which delusion it is. But I didn't ask about all people. I just I asked about the Christians. I was clarifying with my answer. Yep. Uh so that is what loaded question is. I hope you understood that. I didn't open my fancy card cuz uh the I don't have a grid marked as loaded question. But these are things you will tend to see in an argument if you answer the loaded question you are implicitly accepting the assumption it's founded on that's what loaded question means you might also hear terms like leading question uh, means the same thing but yeah that's it for this video i i thought it was an interesting thing to make a video on hope you enjoyed this one i'll see you in the next one